how's it going YouTube? Thanks for joining me for another review. Today's uh, beer review is dedicated to my buddy Lee. Um, he's been bugging me to uh, re-review some beers I did on my old channel when I just started reviewing and I thought, you know what? He's a big fan of uh, Belgian darks and uh, Belgian beers in general, so start out with this one, you know. Um, Re-review of uh, 2014 vintage of Trappist Rochefort 8, or 8, um, for the uh, Anglophiles out there. Um, yeah, Trappist Rochefort 8, it's uh, coming in at 9.2% alcohol by volume, 22 IBUs. It's out of uh, Abbe St. Remy in Belgium, yeah. One of my favorite... Uh, Belgian Darks. Um, I've drank this one so many times and always enjoy it and yeah down for a re-review So let's get this one cracked poured see how it is The appearance on the Trappist Rochefort 8 Two and a half fingers of a huge fluffy frothy meringue like rocky pillowy off-white head Absolutely amazing looking head on this one uh, tons of carbonation on a uh, murky ruby red kind of body, really, really beautiful looking uh, Belgian dark ale. Let's get an aroma. Yeah, tons of uh, dark fruit right away. The classic uh, Belgian esters, you know. Nice uh, phenolic notes to this one. Nice breadiness. Some grassy aromas. And yeah, like the prune, the cherry. Yeah, absolutely wonderful smell in uh, Dark Ale. Yeah, that smells fantastic. Cheers. Yeah, every time I have a uh, Rochefort beer, I'm always amazed at how well they're brewed. Um, be it the 6, the 8, or the 10, um, it's just amazing, amazing dark Belgian beers, you know. Um, absolutely perfect to style. Uh, the mouthfeel does have a nice uh, syrupy, like a uh, molasses kind of feel to it. A uh, nice and sticky, but uh, still light, crisp, effervescent, zero alcohol down the uh, uh, esophagus there, like zero warmth. I mean, this is a super, super crushable beer. Tons of uh, dark Belgian fruit characters. You get the uh, molasses, the brown sugar, the uh, nuttiness, the uh, like, yeah, like a roasted nut, something like that going on. Getting a big amount of a uh, uh, dark cherry, a nice sweet dark cherry, some of that prune, some of that plum, stuff like that. A nice uh, light crisp like apricot, like a slightly overripe apricot kind of flavor. Absolutely amazing, amazing beer. Um, yeah, everything from the appearance, the aroma, the mouthfeel, um, the flavors. It's like a perfect balance between a triple and a, a quad. Uh, leaning towards the quad, but still uh, amazing, amazing Belgian dark ale. As a rating on Trappist Rochefort 8, it's one of those beers that I'm always psyched to try again and again, you know. It's an amazing, amazing example of a uh, Belgian dark strong ale. It's got the uh, dark fruit, the uh, brown sugar, the uh, nice crisp apple-y kind of flavors, and almost uh, as it develops in age, like a, a red wine kind of uh, oakiness, a nice oaky dryness coming across the tongue. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm gonna rate this one pretty damn high. I think this is probably one of the top like five Belgian darts out there and I'd have to go like 97. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. Highly recommended, pretty readily available too. So uh, if you haven't had this one, you owe it to yourself to go check out Trappist Rochefort 8. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of this beer if you have had it. Thanks to uh, Lee for suggesting me re-review it. I always love drinking this beer. And um, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. And until the next time, cheers.